Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're right back into XCOM. Uh, I know I ended the last video talking about how I needed to remember what I did and all that. I literally just ended that recording, did some stuff, checked the files and all that, got up, walked around a little bit, came back down, sat down, and pushed record again, because I got time today, so let's get into it. Uh, we're going right into the turncoat one. We already talked about what we're going to do. I need to make supplies available. He also has a shotgun too. So maybe we're, we're well actually not even maybe. We're definitely finna get into some uh some master crafted shotguns first after we get the armor. Because the armor's gonna benefit everybody but this master crafted. I don't even know if we wanna give him the auto loader or the stock actually. Hmm. Ooh, the impact frame is probably gonna be good for him actually. He's gonna be up close. Actually, I don't even know why I gave Claymore the impact frame, because he's never up close. That man moves the slowest out of the entire team. The auto load is going to be useful for him. He does take a lot of shots. He's pretty accurate, too. That's a pretty good thing for him to have. You're going to be extra padding for sure. Do we have a med kit to give to you, actually? I'm going to take the med kit from her and give her uh, a plasma grenade? No, she already had a grenade. She had the ceasefire grenade, so I guess train ground since we have a space for him. This one's going in as a killer. Keep himself healed up and all that. You can burst through doors, so breach charge for you it might not be as useful. I guess we'll give you the stock in case you do have to take a shot and you might miss. I don't... I, you missed you missed a lot of shots for this advanced scope to be there. That's kind of annoying. I got my hand on my mouth. Okay. Um, How much money do we have? It looks like we have we have quite a bit, but we're saving right now to get some uh to get the extra armor that we want. God not God mother. Zypher's gonna be working on that next. So it's annoying to have this idle agent, but we can't really do anything about that right now, so let's get right back into it. Turncoat. A uh, notorious arms dealer. I keep forgetting to read these two. A notorious arms dealer has been targeted for elimination by our op opposition. We need to extract him before they do, and we'll get an acid grenade and a hazmat seal, which sounds like stuff for uh, Claymore. To be honest, he's actually pretty useful. He can, in his turn, he can throw a grenade, which doesn't take an action, then throw his shrapnel grenade, which doesn't end his turn. VIP. Hostiles incoming. Get to the evac. And then if we set the that shrapnel grenade down to the right spot, it's going to be useful. So, yeah, he's pretty good. Last unit through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. That's going to go to Axiom this time. Tur Ooh, I was wearing a ring and just dropped it. Panicked. I don't even know if y'all heard it, actually. And we might as well use the combat scan. I think we, this is the only, yeah, encounter one of one. So, let's get into Entering. it. Axiom's first mission. All right, all right, we can use that, but it's aggressive, so we can't wait on it. So I'm gonna have to take it out, actually. Ooh, set it in, did it. All right, the Hitman, the Purifier, the Necromancer, and a Bomber. The Bomber's gonna be an issue. Yeah, but we have these 200% chances. And I'm definitely going to capitalize on them. But I think I'm going to take out the Purifier first. Cool. We're getting a lot of crits. Oh, plus 40. That's right, because we did the thing that increased the crit chance with her, too. So that's pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess we might as well take this shot on the Necromancer. I don't like how it flips where they're going. Because it always makes me nervous that they're going to miss. Because most of our misses come when they're facing the opposite direction. or still, like, realigning on something. We can take the. We might be able to take the Necromancer out right here, or we can deal a lot of damage to the Hitman. I'm gonna do the Necromancer because they can bring back um, fallen teammates or something like that. I'm not really sure actually. And this is our VIP, is VIP. Get to the evac. and we're probably yeah we have to run them to the other side. This this dude might as well be fighting too. He's about as big as Axiom, about as big as the Bruiser. Get him punching some stuff too. Or the bomber. I said bruiser before. Okay. We can drop a turncoat grenade. Is there anything grouped up? They're actually not grouped up at all. Um, but I want to go 
in the direction that this guy is. So I'm gonna put the sticky grenade Ruining on him and get him to move day. out the way. That's not moving backwards, and I, I don't know why it's, it's always like doing this. But his armor is shredded. Wounded is wounded. All right, he has a later turn than these two, so they'll have a chance to hit him. We'll put you right here, and we should be able to deal some damage to this bomber before they get a chance to do anything. I'm also going to have you hunker down instead of continuing to move. That way, just in case we can, you Tracking do have the ec weapon. extra defense. Please. Weapon unaffected. That's your effort. Yeah, I'm fine with that, actually. Never mind, they went to Overwatch. Okay, you have the frag grenade. If we drop it over there, we'll blow up that car, which will deal some it will blow up that car, which will deal some extra damage. Plus the damage that it's gonna do to them. Frag out. The, the damage that the grenade is gonna do in its own on its own. Oh wait, no, that car already blew up from the uh what you call it. He has a blast padding, so he takes less damage from explosives, is what that sounds like. But that's gonna go off too. And we can take this shot here with an 85% chance. Or I can use cooperation on... Mm, I'm, I'm going to cooperate with Patchwork. Even though her turn is right up next, I'm going to have her use Chaining Jolt on the bomber. The which is a guaranteed so kill, effective. right? Yeah. What did Axiom say? Did he say it's ineffective? Is he not a is he a leader and not a actual teammate type of character? That's what it sounds like, based on what how he's saying. Next time I'll aim for the soft parts. You wanna aim for the fleshy bits. Yeah, yeah, he's he's an asshole too. Which makes sense now, talk because we did read that one thing where um Kelly was talking to I don't know who I actually can't remember the name they said. About how it's already difficult enough working with this team of very different people. He has a huge uh, mobility range too. That's pretty good uh, for what he's doing. Maybe this person will leave when I come close to them. I would if I even saw that man trying to approach me. Uh, the psychic take an action. Exum increases his rage. Higher rage raises the effects chance, but also berserk rage is also gained by taking damage. All right, let's see if we can take make this shot. That, that's more important to us than testing him out fully. Because he can aim. If I drop this anywhere, it's going to go off before, so I have no reason to do that. This is going to blow up, actually. Let's not move anywhere near it. Um, I think we're better off just overwatching on this door. It's this dude's turn. We could rush him way up. Hmm. I should have put a uh, terminal's thing on him though. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did originally want to stop him right there, but uh, I knew that that thing was gonna blow up next. Can I see him from here? I can. So I'm gonna give him that. And then I'm gonna overwatch on that side. Let's get your inside. Oh no, she doesn't Step have an inside. angle on that at all, actually. But that's gonna give him plus one armor. That's why I did that, even though he hasn't taken any damage. And we're gonna overwatch this door, actually, since she can't see the door that's closest to him. Patchwork, on the other hand, though, she can move up, use this de recently destroyed car as cover. She's probably not as defender from that direction but we're more concerned about making sure if anything does go for the VIP it will get shot and Axiom hmm, I'm tempted to play around with his um his rage buff she's watching that door if we put him up here he's likely to get shot which They're will coming. increase his rage watch for hostiles So they're going to step up and get shot. They're going to step up and possibly shoot at him. What the hell? Oh, okay. Alright, now it's your turn. You can drop this up to there. Explosive out. Yeah. We can also drop a turn coke grenade on you and you could potentially shoot at Throwing the number grenade. three unit. We need, to, we need to bring Axiom back around to the other side. Alright, let's see what your Berserk does. 
Yeah, okay. That's a, probably a better use of that then, because Axiom's gonna have to start making his way over to here, since that is the exit still. Whose turn am I looking on? Oh, his. We could bring Axiom up the turn order and get him moving over to, oops. And get him moving over, which I'm gonna do. I did put him too far away for, um, at this point, no reason. Um, she, he can also take cover. Over there. I want to stay on this Look side with everyone cursed. else. Axiom's kind of all over the place, which is fine. I don't know why he's going to go over the top of don't that, but whatever. Target. It's funny how far he can move, but how slow he looks doing it. Can we make it? Can we make it? No, we can't. Not quite. And they're still defended too, so... From a standpoint of all the angles that they hit. Because they're, they're pretty much fully surrounded in that spot. The only spot that they, that might get them is this uh, entrance point for the enemies. Um, we'll move... Who's this? Patrick up to here. Heading there. That one sees you. Who's, no one sees me from here. I don't know what she's talking about. And I guess we'll overwatch on this entrance. I'm pretty sure that's an entrance, right? Covering the squad. Okay, well, Patrick is going to get a turn before we need to worry about that. We'll get uh, Claymore up to this point right next to her. I mean, we're already pretty close. We might as well use Psych up. Only One rage match. should be fine, right? Okay, so it doesn't take a turn or an action. So I'll put him over here and then have him overwatch down that angle. Because we do have to still come up this way. So overwatch. Let's see. I want it to at least... Yeah, like this. That way, if anything gets closer to us coming out of the far entrance, that we find it. If anything steps forward coming out the close entrance, they'll um, they'll be taken out also. I believe this is the yeah okay, arms dealer. Yeah, I'm gonna say look at his arms. This man should, should be actually working. What type of arms is he dealing? Shit. Um. Okay. She can move up to here. And then I'm gonna have... I'm actually gonna have her over... They didn't go anywhere. They might as well just jumped over. Alright, I'm gonna have her overwatch here. And then Patrick overwatch the far, far one. She doesn't need to move. She's already in pretty good cover from these angles. Alright. That, that works out. Take them out too? No? Okay, that's fine. Try the joints. Is that a necromancer? The joints? Is this man shred like literally ripping people apart? Get you with a sticky grenade and then keep it moving to the exit. Clearing the board. Yes, yes you are. Oh, that ends his turn. Okay. Well, we can use. I think team up might be back now, right? We're going to continue to overwatch just in case. Patchwork might not be able to make it to the exit is my only issue. Plus he comes in uh, afterwards. I guess you can leave. Into the action. Move. Yeah, evac. Move. Our team is pretty big overall. Just like their size. Because we have Axiom, who's literally big. Claymore is also pretty big. Uh, Zephyr is built as hell. Like well she's done. she's in the gym all day. Uh, Godmother isn't too small Traversing. necessarily. So yeah, Verge is tall as hell. I think Almost Cherub is dry. pretty tall too, but Verge is definitely the tallest. Evac. Yeah, we did pretty good on this one, and it didn't take too long. All right, let's see what's going on after this. Is there a cutscene, or is it just... That was just a mission. I think it might have just been a uh, situation and not actually uh, anything related. Minus two. Unrest increased by two in Riverside and downtown. Okay. Oh, a promotion. Hybrid what you got? citizens surrounded NextGen today in an impromptu protest regarding the fade. A NextGen spokesperson had this to say. There is no secret cure for the fade. We're working as fast as we can, but we have to do this right. But with five confirmed deaths, those who suffer from the Fade are far from reassured. 
People are dying. We are dying. Something has to give. More as the story develops. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. I don't know what Rupture does. It's only is my only hold up here. Cause dealing extra damage through cover is helpful. But we're also able when when we have Claymore on the team, we're usually able to break the uh, cover anyways. So we're gonna give him the rupture, which I don't I'm not sure what's gonna what it's gonna do, but we're gonna find out when we use it. And he's actually is he our highest level now? What's Zypher at? Zypher's not even the highest anymore. She should be pretty up there too. Okay, so these two are both seniors now. And yeah, so those two would be safe to pull off the team actually and get them into some other stuff. My only issue with bringing terminal off the team is that gives that takes away our healing capabilities and that's actually a, a, probably a problem that we rely on her so heavily for healing uh but i do want to switch her out i don't want to i don't know if i want to put those two on the same team at the team on the team at the same time um so we'll have zypher continue we're gonna go for the master crafted armor uh that's gonna take eight days though it's gonna give us have us take a long time on that intel wise we do have a lot of intel we do have quite a bit, and we do need to be spending it, especially since we can get to the level three now. Um, we need more intel, which is which comes from the security teams. Yeah, intel comes from security. So we'll upgrade this one since it's also what we're going to be going into next. Upgrade for ninety. Oh, we can do another upgrade for ninety also. Uh, we have two securities level two, we have one technology and one finance that are level two. We have a lot of master crafted things that we're about to be working on. So I think we're gonna, it's Monday, so we just missed it too. We're gonna go for the intel here also, I think. No, we're not, because that's gonna hit two, which is gonna match this one, but I don't want that one to go up any further than it has to. It's gonna, these two are gonna match instead of this one going to three and that one going, staying at one. So the better option unrest wise is to go for this one, which is fine because our money is pretty high, but we do need the intel to keep leveling stuff up. Uh, did I say I was gonna do another finance one? I think I did. Hopefully I didn't just do a finance one and mess that up, but oh well. We can get into the situation. All of our unrest is back to being pretty low. We still have this one city anarchy, which I'm not concerned with actually. Um, uh, if City Anarchy reaches 14, City 31 falls and XCOM can no longer remain. Alright, Illyrium is spent to power projects in the assembly. Why is it saying that? I don't know why it has that marker up there. Oh, probably because Illyrium is the closest thing. Okay. Alright, so we have nothing to really pour down yet. We can't freeze this, which is, would be the most beneficial thing to do there. Is everything set up how we want to? The APC is fine. That's going, that's going, and this is going. So yeah, we're, we're ready to go then. Let's get into the situation. Yep. Unrest in the fringe in Riverside. Oh, did they both still go up? No, Riverside. The bonded stair radio station claimed, without evidence, that the fade oh. was manufactured in City 31. The assertion that NextGen created the disease was convincing to some residents. Everything they say makes sense. With the gene therapy clinic shut down, we're as good as dead. NextGen issued a firm denial and urged those affected to see a medical professional. Sudden weight loss, thirst, loss of appetite. The sooner you seek treatment, the better. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. All right, I don't think our team changed, so we're gonna go right into this mission. Uh, Hostile stole a unique weapon on its way to City Archives. Let's make sure it ends up in. Make sure it ends up where it's intended. I just realized, I. I have something in here for someone. Hang on a second. Let me go back. Who? Who's in here? You. Loadout. Enhanced pistol. Endless brevity. I was gonna say I have an I have a, one of these, a superior weapon. Okay. Endless brevity. Uh, grants the fan fire ability. Enhanced pistol plus one damage. Okay. So yeah, I was gonna say 
I know I got one of those. All right, but let's get an AR now too. We have a lot of ARs. Well, we have more ARs than we did before. I think we're ready to go. That AR is probably gonna go to Patchwork. Well, Patrick and Verge probably won't be on the team at the same time, at least not for now. Especially since Verge is in training, Patrick would probably be next in, and then Axiom. Or if I see more use in. Got a good look at the weapon. It's on our list. All right, let's get it. Uh, or if I feel like Axiom, is, whoever is more useful is gonna go into training first. All right, successful shots on enemies during the breach will stun. That's gonna be. Terminal since she has the scope to increase her aim. Enemy units turn turn jumps forward to directly follow the previous agent's turn. Uh, I'm confused on that. All units entering through here get plus 25 defense for the turn for the round. So Axiom can go through there. He's likely to get shot though. But I think we're fine with that. We don't want Paxford to get shot. She has the lowest health. And she's less likely to take damage through here. Which leaves Kellymore in his armor, so that kind of works out. I'm still not sure what Rush does. I forget that she doesn't have legs either. That man hit hard when he hit when he came down. Okay, so we have a Cobra. Uh, we haven't seen one of those yet. A Necromancer. A Chrysalid. Is that also a Chrysalid? No, that's an Android. So we can hack the Android and a Neonate Chrysalid. I want to go for this chrysalid here. Get it lower. Hopefully it doesn't run up on us. I'm not sure if it has that ability. Who? What is this? Who am I? Who am I shooting for? Uh, we'll go for the the chrysalid. It's low, so I'm not as worried about that anymore. Okay, four to six damage. We might take it out. We didn't. Okay. There's a chrysalid up here that's alert. I'm gonna deal some damage to it, especially since it's neonate. And we saw what happens when the neonate chrysalids get close enough to deal damage. They potentially change us over. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's hopefully get the shot off on them. All right, cool. So we've taken out all the neonate chrysalids. I'm fine with taking all of this damage. He got the plus to his rage. All right, let's see. Oh, they missed actually. So that's even better, I think. Spotted the target. All right, you're gonna psych up. Who wants some? And then you're gonna smash them. And I'm actually hoping for a berserk in this area because there's three enemies right there. That's uh, a 90% chance to hit. All right, cool. And they're stunned, so they're set out of the turn. Don't know where he's going. Oh, he's getting better cover, probably. Spectral zombies. Maybe I can drop a Tango grenade on them. I know I have grenades anyway, so... How many encounters is this? I actually didn't check that. Again. I throw a frag grenade. Can we get that over there? And deal all damage to all of them? Yes, we can. Alright, let's get that. That's pretty good. We'll cooperate with... Axiom? No, we'll cooperate with Patchwork. That way she can take those guys out with her uh change ult on oh hopefully we can see them actually that's something that i didn't check first spectra zombie you no you oh wait i see a pop-up on the side i'm trying to hit the necromancer okay so we do chaining jolt on the necromancer i don't know if it does if it chains one or two damage if it chains two then i think we'll take them both out the training paid off. that's not bad we still took out Damn. the one and that one's about to die anyways. I think if we take out the uh, the Necromancer, then it'll die for sure. The Neonate Chrysalid is likely to go for Axiom, which I think I'll be okay with. We'll get him taken out because it also takes out the, the other thing. Oop, oop. I forgot about, I forgot they go for those. Damn, that's not a good thing. Chain Jolt on them which it doesn't actually hit that what is happening here i wish it would explain this to me because that's what needs to be explained not some of the other stuff that we're getting but yeah chain joe will for sure take this out so we're gonna go ahead and do that and get all the chrysalids out of the way the target. and learn. yeah maybe if we kill that it'll save the person inside that I can only hope for, though. 
we'll set this up right just enough to just enough to hit them and not damn i think it's it's probably getting stuck on the um all the cover that's right there maybe i can get it from this angle no can i get the cobra oh there it is that's the angle i want to do then somehow it's not hitting axiom drop it uh yeah, so it's not hitting Axiom from this angle, it is going to hit the Trooper and that Cobra. And then that ruptures them, which I don't know what does. Hmm. Oh well. We can put a sticky grenade on... that's going to hit Axiom. That thing. I don't know what this is. I can do a turncoat grenade too. Grenade out! I don't know if this is gonna, uh, it causes them to berserk. It missed, which is fine, actually. That was just trying to be hopeless for some extra damage. And you can take the shot on that thing, whatever it is. Let's hopefully take it out now. Let's see. And we get control over the camera again. No, it looks like they, excuse me, they did just die. Yeah, so we shredded his armor, took them out, and then we instantly picked it up. Because we had Axiom right there. So now it's Axiom who's going to smash this person. And that's going to be it, right? Yeah. Hostile kill. That was pretty pretty Keep quick, actually. Lightly wounded on Claymore. That's not bad. I don't remember when he took the damage, though. I think it was during the breach, maybe. I don't know. That was a pretty good one. Nice and simple. And we got a new gun out of it, too. So let's see what this thing gets us. Uh, Verge has completed training to unlock potential. Riverside has risen to four. Promotion for Axiom to accept. Oh yeah, okay. Battering Ram. Burst through a door breach point with a chance to panic nearby. Any panic chance increases with rage. So if we can get can get him angry enough, and so when he, he's like huffing and puffing too, maybe he just has like weird anger issues it's also weird that he has this weird aftershave like on his chin like everything else is pretty solid green in his knuckles but that kind of makes sense to be a different color i don't get the the snout i guess area of him oh well. we have space in here now select a unit verge going right back in for his uh basic conditioning which i guess is something i should give to everybody when they first join the team we don't, I don't see a use for any of these things right now. So I'm going to continue on the upgrade path with our field teams. Um, we could jump to a level 3 here. Will we be able to pull that down to 0 after that? We might be able to, which will help us out. Especially since if we don't pull this down... It's going to uh, boost our anarchy up by at least one. So we'll do that and then use the field team here and drop it down to zero. Um, we still have a lot of Illyrium despite the training that we're doing right now. Or not the training, but the, uh, what you call it? Doesn't help either, does it, huh? The research assembly, there it is. That's the word. Damn. In my face too and I'm still struggling. All right, we're probably gonna still need this money. Either way, one of these is gonna go up to two, unless I freeze a district, which I don't see a reason in doing just yet. Get an extra reward from a situation. It's gonna give us more money than we would normally get from this too. Oh, I, I see now. So it gives us the reward from that. And then also, we can go over here and do, actually I don't know if it gave us the reward for that. Gain extra situation awards. So I guess we got some of the rewards for doing that situation and now we can do this one which keeps them both at one. So that helps out. Send APC to resolve the situation will automatically advance the okay. So lower to one both of them oh wait no it said Riverside twice again. All right. Your mind is one of the calmest I have encountered. For a human? For anyone. How do you remain so placid? Regular exercise, prayer, and I allow myself to love the world and people around me. What about caffeine? I never touch the stuff. Mm-hmm. I want this epic shotgun, too. I think I'm getting greedy with the weapons, but whatever. 
a free field team at this point would also would be a free upgrade and not actually a free field team. Um, I don't want to use the freeze yet in case I have something here and something else that I want to get. Going to two isn't bad. I can bring that down to one. I'm going to do this mission in this episode, even though I did just say I was trying to keep them shorter. Didn't mean to click on that. I can reduce city anarchy by one if I use it now. Major crime task force. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Okay. Level one, or not level one. One more day left on those two, and then five days left on our master crafted armor. But we're going to go straight into this mission. Still with the same team, so we don't have to look at anything here necessarily. Is there anything extra, actually? Oh, we did get that acid grenade. Hmm. What does the acid grenade do compared to the other one? Damage units and applies an acid to the... An acid, an acid terrain effect. As it treads armor and damages vulnerable units over multiple turns. It deals 2 to 3 damage, but then it does that damage over time as well. Hmm. Though best deployed against heavily armored targets, Reclamation Agents can de deter hostiles from approaching with a well-placed Mark II party foul. Okay. And a hazmat shelter and grants immunity to environmental status effects. I'm going to give that to... I feel like that's going to make more sense to give to him since he'll be running around out there. Yeah. Right now he has... So that's going to give him plus two health instead of the plus three, which is fine. And then we'll give you... Who doesn't have anything? We might switch your plasma grenade with the acid grenade, actually. And keep you with the turn coat. We haven't been using the turn coat as much, actually. So I'll give you the plasma. We definitely don't use the ceasefire, but I'll be more inclined to use a turn coat than a ceasefire. Uh, you have the frag grenade. So you're carrying the plasma. You have the acid. Okay. Oops. Did I take anything away? No. All right. Let's get into it then. Hopefully we can grab this uh, epic shotgun too. With all the shotguns that we have on the team, and especially with Godmother's abilities getting pretty high, we want these guaranteed shots. The guaranteed shot that we can get. Weapon at this location. These special weapons also. Damn. What did I just get? I got a special assault rifle and didn't equip it. And I spent all that time looking. God damn. Entering through this. Uh, entering through. Here marks your units. We have two encounters. Units until the end of the encounter. Last unit through this entrance is plus three damage during the breach. I understood this entrance to get plus 50 dodge for one round. Do we want the 50 dodge to go to her? Uh, ooh, wait. Because she can scan. So I want to put her through here, actually. Which will counter their ability to see all of us. Last unit through this entrance does, oops, plus one damage. So we'll send terminal in first. And then we'll grab Patchwork out of there and we'll have her use the Hollow Scanner at this entrance. And then we'll have Axiom. Is this a door? It's a main door. So we'll send Axiom through first. When placed in the first breach slot at a door, Axiom can burst through and have a chance to panic enemies. Alright, yeah, we want to do that. Good thing I checked that first, otherwise that would have been a waste. Well, not a waste, but not used to its... Uh... That's wild. But I mean, if you heard the scream of a wild animal, which is essentially what Axiom is, I guess, I would also be afraid, so. The Guardian is something that I do want to take out, because I know he's going to give that shield out to everyone. If we hit, we will do the... Okay, cool. Alright, now we can focus on everything else. Probably want to start dealing damage to this thing. Since it's right in our faces and it's alert. So that means it could go directly into... Um, I'm going to hit them instead though. Why is this doing 8 to 10? Plus 3 damage down the breach. Good shit. Okay. I'm fine with that actually. This is likely to go into uh, Overwatch. Um, which one is second? Uh, I'm Axiom right now. You have the acid grenade. Is anything close enough? Oh, I can put acid right in this entrance, actually. And nothing will be able to get closer to us. He threw that shit hard as fuck. Okay. And then you can take the shot on... Ooh. 
if we take the shot there, then Patrick could switch and take the shot something somewhere else. Hostile off the board. Okay, that make that that helps out. All right, and then you can potentially reprogram this. Let's see if we get it. We did. That's probably the only downside to that thing showing up before it's actually done. But whatever, I'm not complaining about that. Oh, chaining jolt actually on the bruiser is the only thing that we can see. We might as well, right? Any damage is better than none, right? Pop. Nothing can move through this area because we threw that grenade right there. It was a pretty good uh, use of the first... Well, I mean, it's tactical. It's not actually hitting anything. We might as well take the shot here, right? Shit, shit. I don't think it died, though. It did die. Okay. And then you can take the shot on... Not that. This thing. I want to move up a little bit though. Move Hopefully I didn't just... Oh, no, I should still have the angle because that was further away. So, yeah, increase the chance. I mean, a little bit is better than nothing at all. We don't want to waste all our grenades too early. And then you can move up to here. Shifting my position. Uh, That was a weird little thing, unless I blinked at the wrong time. I don't think so though. I think that was just weird. Clearing the board. And then the that turret's gonna impressive. go down, right? Yeah, hack effort lost. Everyone's reloaded. Mark is gone. Moving into the next entrance. Alright, we're getting to a point where we're moving through these uh these encounters pretty smoothly. Claymore's gonna go through there first. And that uh Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point, usable on wall breakpoints. I'm still not really sure what rupturing does, but that's fine. All units entering through here get plus three mobility during the breach. Okay. That's not... Doing just the plus three during the breach is not enough to entice me to go over there. Terminal and patchwork. Patchwork should go here. Just so I can make sure that that actually takes effect. Uh, Opening a side door. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, marked stuff in here. Go ahead and load all the way up. A mech, which we can start tearing down right now. There's a potential to be able to take it, but because it's aggressive, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk um, taking any damage from it. I don't want to deal with any of that. Your damage isn't high enough for me to want to do that. I'm gonna hit it with another shotgun instead. A neonate chrysalid plus 40% chance to crit. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, or not. You also don't have that high of a chance to kill that. Ooh, but I shouldn't wait and hope on one shot to do it. Alright, cool. Because should Axiom have missed, then it would, waiting was for no reason. The Neonet, who's alert? I didn't even check that actually. The Commando's alert? Not anymore. The nigga is out cold. Or the man is out cold. Oops. Alright. We have a lot of stuff in here, though. and the target. trooper who has it is way in the back. All right, plasma grenade. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff grouped up, but we can't get it far enough back. I don't know. Hold up. I'm going to move up. I'm going to be a little risky here. I'm not going to lie. This one's a little risky. But I want to drop this grenade on all three of them because they're this grouped up, and I'm, there's no way I'm not going to take advantage of that closeness. Target dropped. Yeah, okay, okay. Now what? You still have shrapnel, which if I drop it out there, it's gonna blow up. Not, not in not enough time. But I could potentially. I don't want to kill that dude too early. Hopefully this man goes backwards. I keep testing this out because I fall back means away from the people that you're attacking. Good. Okay. He's moving up. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted him to get closer to us before I took him out. I'm fine with taking that little bit of damage because I'll be able to come back and hit him with this. A turncoat. I'm hitting with the turncoat first. I'm scared to hit the... We have to test it. Hitting the neonate Chris, hitting the chrysalids with a turncoat or anything that makes them berserk isn't always useful. Because they'll do something like that. Took a hit. Instead of um, 
them who have guns will actually shoot at an enemy. You can manage. Um, I could go ahead and take that out. Actually, this is what we came here for. Lonely Herald. So we're, we just got a lot of somewhat effective. This man has not done much of anything yet to be saying somewhat effective. I want to cooperate with with Claymore just so we can make sure we get into that range and pick that up. I don't want to accidentally end the turn or end the encounter without actually picking up. Teamwork makes the dream work. I guess that's using cooperation however many times I did. Okay. What have you, Overwatch? Got you covered. I probably should have healed that thing. Oh, it's like cowering. That's kind of awkward. Can you? You can smash it. Cause you can reach it in this area. So I want to use Psych up first. I don't know how angry he was first. I probably should be checking that too. Making waves. No, Cherub's the one who makes waves. All right, cool. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that's not bad. I should have healed Claymore, but he was only lightly wounded either way, so that's fine. From three captured enemies, there's a 60% chance to earn 20 intel. Oh, okay, so it increases our chance to earn that 20. I didn't. I never actually read that. I probably should have been this whole time. Um, that's that's not terrible though. Yeah, I didn't get the plus 20 intel. Godmother Spec Ops is finished recruitment drive. Merge is done with his basic conditioning. We got the Lonely uh, Herald. And we still didn't get to too long of a mission. Sacred Coil has no cure for the Fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. Put an end to their lies. Show City 31 what they really are. Killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Hmm. Okay. So we're making our way through this. We still don't know who the leader is yet, but we do know that they're taking advantage of anything that they can. All right, so we have an open slot for Spec Ops. Let's go ahead and put, oh, I guess we'll put Axiom in because the ability to take over those uh, enemies is, is like having Verge against normal people. It's We want that, uh, especially in this case. So we have... Ooh, my voice just cracked and I burped, excuse me. All right. So we have a lot of stuff we can do here, especially field team wise, because we do have the free field team. Uh, level ones, we have these four level ones now. So, and level two finance, two finance, level two tech, level one tech, level one security, level one finance so we have two level two finance and one level one we have no level no one level two and two so we want this one to go to level two okay and then we have we don't need to upgrade any security teams basically because we have the level three and the level two already so we'll go with the we're stacking up a lot of money too I'm pretty sure we're gonna finna burn through that once we start getting these master crafted um things. Intel. Okay. We don't have the uh, scavenger market here right now. Alright, alright. The freeze the district's unrest. We're gonna do this one in the next episode. Uh but I think to save everything that we just did, I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh gain an in intel. Okay, she got us the one free field team and we use that immediately. Um, unrest in all districts down by one. Hmm, what is our unrest looking like? If we let this, if we let that one go up, we might have a usefulness for it, especially to bring down the fringe for free. And that's gonna take us five days to do. So at that point, we probably are gonna have some stuff pretty high too. But I don't want to bank on that. So we have someone in here. We have her chugging away on that. It's actually going to take four days, I realize, because it's half as much when there's an agent working there. Isn't, isn't that right? I don't know. I don't think it's actually been four things in here, but also I haven't been paying attention as much to that because it just does it on its own in the background. 
So we'll put Cherub in, get him back to work. And reducing all district unrest by one. You're still good there. You're still going here. And we have a slot on the field team for either Verge or Godmother. I think we're gonna give it to Godmother. And then we'll well well we're not going on an encounter, so we can't actually set that up properly. But actually we can act like we're finna do this one. And then make everything available. Still working with the enhanced armor. Godmother has the best shotgun. Or she has she usually get, she has the best abilities for the shotgun. She takes the advanced stock and she also gets the auto loader. Do I have a better auto loader? I don't. Uh yeah, she'll get the advanced stock and the auto loader. You can get the I guess you'll get the impact frame back. That's probably how you ended up with it, because we didn't have anything else to give you. Enhanced armor, she can get extra padding. The hazmat can go to him, I guess. And we don't have anything to give to her. We could buy some extra padding though. We have the extra money for it. Breach, nothing. Um, an acid grenade and a nano med kit. And then you have that, you have that. Do I have another? No, we only have one med kit in this one. I'm starting to mix the saves up in my head. Okay, so the AR, the new AR, uh, Impetus Spire. So we have one, two enhanced weapons on our team right now. Uh, not enhanced, but uh, I guess special weapons. Yeah. So that's gonna that, that's, that should go crazy actually. That should go crazy. Uh, what did I say I was gonna buy? An armor thing. Extra padding is HP dodge so yeah we'll go for extra padding for um you don't have any arm you know you have a mock weave hazmat seal extra padding extra padding all right so that's going to be fine we're going to back out of this now that we have everyone set that's going to be ready for when we come back in on the next episode and we're going to do uh this one yeah automatically advance to the next day uh, we tracked this, I keep forgetting, stolen alloy provided by information through MPT, who at the bus, the manufacturer was reward, rewarded us for our assistance. Probably stumbled through all of that reading. But... There is a new ramen shop in the fringe. Which ones have we been to? The Better Bra, Lockenvelder Noodle House, and Pork Baby. We still need to hit udon with that. And currying flavor. What is the new place called? UF Oodle. Sounds like pandering. Not as much as Mextra Terrestrial. Oh, that wow. place was the worst. So these two have developed a relationship in trying food, it seems. Uh, what is this? Because I hope it's not something. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with not getting that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. The um, and residential occupation. Because we don't whatever they're doing, I can't remember necessarily. Lying to people to get them to join. We don't want them to keep doing that. But that's gonna be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Is this a video that goes out at the end of a week? I don't think so. I think this one goes out at the beginning of a week. Can't remember. Oh well, whatever. Either have a good weekend or have a good week, whichever it is. Uh thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.